Okay, today for beginners, I'm going to show uh, the beginners how to change the color of an object within a photograph. It's not too hard and not too difficult. We're going to begin with coming up to Image, Adjustments, and Replace Color. Now, there's a couple of fine-tuning uh, tools in here into, into this dialog box. These three main areas for fine-tuning are going to be these three eyedroppers up here and the fuzziness control, which is right here. These are our main tr two, two controls for fine-tuning just how we're going to change the color. The first eyedropper is, is the, uh, to select the color. So basically the first eyedropper tells us where we're going to begin on our image to select and change which color. When I've done that, when I clicked in right here, you can see in the white areas of this dialog box, anything that's white, Photoshop has selected to change the color. So let's begin to change the color by going down to the U. And I'm going to bring this into sort of like the red spectrum here. Okay, if I come up to the fuzziness now, I can control just how far that red spreads. The more I spread it to the right, the more the red spreads. And you can see in inside this little uh, preview window, anything that's turning white is 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 being selected and is being affected by that image. Now you can see in the background here. I don't know if. The more fuzziness I, 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 I bring it to the right, now I'm starting to pick up some of the background also. So I'm going to decrease the fuzziness till that background just be, just about disappears. Now I'm going to go up to the second eyedropper, which is telling Photoshop to add, add to the sample. So let me move this out of the way here. I'm still thinking that this is a little too orangey. So I'm going to tell Photoshop by using the second eyedropper to include this color also. And now I've selected the whole enchilada, <laughs> so to speak. So now I can change the color of the horse. Basically, now that I've got all selected, I can change the horse just about any color I want by moving the U slider right here. And of course, you can play around with the, with it by uh, fooling around with the saturation, adjusting that, and the lightness. And let me see. I think what I'm going to do is change it into a nice, bright pink color for my friend. Okay? Thank you.